Potters and Red, I'm going to read Oliver and Amanda, Amanda Pig First Grader by Jean Van Leeuwen, pictures by Anne Swinninger. The first day. Goodbye, Amanda. Goodbye, first grader, called Mother. Have fun, said Father. Amanda climbed the bus steps. They didn't seem as high as last year. Hi, Amanda, sit with me, said her best friend, Lollipop. Amanda was so excited. She bounced. I can't wait for first grade, she said. We don't have to take naps and we get to play on the big playground. And we have real desks and jobs and homework. And we'll know how to read. But Lollipop wasn't bouncing. What if we can't find a room, she said. And our teacher isn't nice, and the big kids on the big playground are mean to us. Don't worry, said Amanda. First grade is going to be great. But when they got off the bus, Amanda said, Oliver, will you take us to room six? But Oliver and his friends were gone. Never mind, said Amanda. We'll find it ourselves. They walked past the kindergarten. Look how little they are, she said. They walked past the art room and the music room. We'll never find room six, so Wally Pop. We'll be late, and our teacher will be bad. They turned a quarter, and there it was, room six. We did it, said Amanda. Good morning, first grader, said the teacher. My name is Miss Mary Ann Pig, and I can't wait to get to know you. I knew she would be nice, said Amanda. She sat down at a real desk. She lined up her new pencils on top. I love it, she said. Miss Mary Ann Pig gave them jobs. I get to lead the plans to the flag, said Amanda. She said the plans very loud. Then the first graders got to work. They drew pictures and counted pennies. And after that, it was time for recess. Come on, Lollipop, said Amanda. They went on the big slide and big swings and big climbing bars. That was fun, said Lollipop, and no one was even mean to us. After lunch, it was reading time. Miss Mary Ann Pig let each of them choose a book. Amanda picked one about a princess. Finally, she thought, I can read. She looked at the first page. What was wrong? She knew her letters. O N C E, but she didn't know the words. She couldn't read. Amanda looked at the pictures and made up her own story. Soon it was time to go home. Lolly popped past out papers. Wow, said Amanda, homework. Then she climbed on the bus. How was first grade, said Mother. Mostly great, said Amanda, but partly bad. My teacher is nice, but I can't read. I thought I could read in first grade. Don't worry, said Mother, he will. Lost and found. Miss Mary Ann Pig wrote words on the blackboard. This is our word wall, she said. We'll be learning these new words and adding these words and adding new ones. I, but, little, who, like, and. Sam already knew all the words. Lollipop knew seven. Amanda only knew two. I and and. She still couldn't read. She felt sad. But then Miss Mary Ann Pig said, I need someone for an important job. Amanda, will you do it? Amanda smiled. She loved jobs. Please take this note to the office, said Miss Mary Ann Pig. Amanda held the note tight. She walked to the end of the hall. The office is this way, she said. Or is it that way? She turned right. Amanda looked in a door. All she saw were books. That's not the office, she said. It's the library. She kept walking. Amanda looked into another door. All she saw were kids at long tables and chairs. And all she smelled was lunch. That's not the office, she said. It's the lunch room. She came to the end of the hall. This way or that way, she said. Which way is the right way? Hey, that's a poem. She turned left. Amanda peeked into another door. All she saw were kids running and jump rope and playing ball. All she heard was noise. That's not the office, she said. It's the gym. But how did it get here? I'm all mixed up. Amanda was tired from walking. She was hungry from showing lunch. Maybe I should go back to my room, she said. But she didn't know how to go back. Maybe I could find Oliver and he would take me back, she said. But Oliver's room was upstairs. Amanda had never been upstairs. She sat down next to a big box. And she plopped onto the note. Are you lost? Said, asked someone. It was the principal, Mr. James Pig. Yes, said Amanda. You came to the right place, Mr. James Pig. Do you know what it says on this box? What? Said Amanda. Lost and found, said Mr. James Pig. I was trying to find the office, said Amanda, but I got lost. You did find it, said Mr. James Pig. Look, right next to the box was the office door. Amanda smiled. She gave Mr. James Pig the note. Thanks, she said. Thanks for finding me, said Amanda. And Mr. James Pig walked Amanda all the way back to her room. The big kids. I know two new words, said Amanda. Lost and found. Very good, said Mr. Mary Ann Pig. She wrote them on the word wall. 
Aunt Reese is really said, let's play kickball. We can't play here, said Sam. See that sign? No ball playing. Hooray, said Amanda. Now I know three more words. They pit, played kickball on the grass. Roy kicked a good one and went over William's head down the hill onto the, you know, onto the field where the big kids play. Uh-oh, said Roy Pop. Give us back our ball, cried Sam. It's our ball now, said the big kid. It is not, said Roy. It is ours. Too bad, said the big kid. He ran away with the first grade ball. I told you the big kids would be mean to us, said Roy Pop. What should we do? said William. We could tell our teacher, said Roy. We could get it back ourselves, asked Amanda. We'll just ask slightly. You could ask the ice so said William. I'll stay here. So as she walked down the hill, what would she say to the kids? What if they were really mean? All of a sudden, her niece felt funny. Wait, so I thought, I'm coming too. Me too, said William, Sam, and William. But you could do the talking, said William. Three boys were playing in with the ball. A big kid and a bigger kid and the big kid. The biggest kid had the ball. Amanda had to look up like she was talking to a tree. Please, she said, give us our ball. Why should we? Said the, big, said the biggest big kid. Because it's the first grade ball, said Amanda. And we need it. And you have your own ball, so it's not fair to take yours. The biggest kid looked down at her. So, he said, well, you know what else, said Amanda. I have... I have a big brother, and he's really big. What grade is he in? Asked the bigger big kid. Um, said Amanda. Second? Is his name Oliver? Asked the big kid. Yes, said Amanda. Oliver is my friend, he said. If you're a sister, you must be okay. Give her the ball, Henry. The big kid gave Amanda the ball. Thanks, said Amanda. She and her friend walked up the hill. That wasn't so bad to William. They weren't so mean to William. Pop. No, said Amanda. I just asked night was sweet. Reading time. Amanda saw signs everywhere. Push, said the sign on the dim door. No parking, said the sign in front of the school. Stop, said the sign out the bus window. She knew more and more words. Pretty soon I'll be able to read, said Amanda. Maybe. One day it was Roy Papa's birthday. She brought cupcakes to school. Miss Barry and Pig wrote two new words on the word wall. Cake, said Roy Pop. Balloon, said Amanda. It's like ball, but bigger. After lunch, everyone had cupcakes. My mom made lots of Roy Pop. Can I take them to the other classes? Yes, said Miss Mary and Pig, and Amanda can go with you. They went to the kindergarten. After that, there were not many cupcakes left. They went to the library. Happy birthday, said the librarian. They went to the nurse's office. You listen, said the nurse. One cupcake left. Let's take it to the office, said Amanda. I don't know the way, said White Pop. I do, said Amanda. She turned left and right and then left again. And there was the office. Thank you, said Mr. James Pig. Shall I walk you back to your room? No, thank you, said Amanda. We can find it ourselves. When they got back, it was reading time. Amanda picked the princess book up again. What she said, once, up, once upon a time. Hey, I'm reading. How exciting, said Miss Mary Ann Pig. I'm going to read this whole book, said Amanda. But she didn't know the words. Not yet, but she was reading. Time for each chest, said Miss Mary Ann Pig. Everyone put on their jackets. Everyone except Amanda. Come on, Amanda, said Lily Pop. Just a minute, said Amanda. Everyone lined up at the door. Everyone except Amanda. Hey, Amanda, said Sam. Don't you want to play kickball? I do, said Amanda, but I can't help it. I can't stop reading. You may stay inside today, said Miss Mary Ann Pig. Then everyone out went out to recess. Everyone except Amanda. She kept reading and reading and reading. And then she finished the whole book. I hope you enjoyed the book. Oliver and Amanda, Amanda Pig, first grader.